Welcome Aquarius. This is Renee. Welcome back. This is going to be your April 2023 reading. What's going on in April for you? So this is for all Aquarius placements. And we will take a look at your energy. What's going on? If this reading resonates, please like, subscribe, share if you'd like. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. I have them in your April tarot readings. Okay? Okay, so we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So I feel like a situation is coming forward for you that was actually worth the wait. Um, I feel like you've been taking it slow. You've been patiently waiting for a situation to unfold, right? And I feel like it's going to be worth the wait um, in this situation, okay? I feel like it's going to be what you are expecting and so much more, okay? Let's get some more energy for Aquarius. Passion, yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Whatever you've been waiting for, I feel like the month of April is going to be very passionate. It's going to bring a fire, bring an excitement, you know, something new, this passion that's unfolding, something that may also be very sexual, right? Uh, we have Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and in your career. Okay? So... Something is lighting a fire underneath you, Aquarius, because, you know, things are coming into view. You are following your dreams, following some sort of passion. Okay, so let's get some more energy for Aquarius. More energy for Aquarius, please. Loyal heart, right? The number 35. So the number 35 may be very significant for you. It may be the age of yourself. It may be the age of your loved one. Um, the number 8 also may be very significant. Okay. But I feel like what's coming forward for you is very loyal, very honest, very caring. This is someone who's looking for long-term stability. Right. Right. Um, if this isn't love, this is a career that's going to bring you a lot of joy and success. Okay, so very interesting. Let's take a look a little bit deeper into Aquarius's love life. Let's see what's going on in Aquarius's love life. These messages for Aquarius for April 2023. Okay, the coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Um, so you may be, you know, going out with friends, going out on dates, you know, being social in a social setting. Um, you can also be just having that first date with someone that you waited for, right? Just getting to know them. And um, I feel like things are really coming into view, okay? And we have the cassette. So this is actually outdated thinking. Um, maybe very traditional thinking. Something that doesn't follow the times at this moment. Um, maybe you have traditions in your beliefs that are maybe outdated. They may You may have to relook or revision those that outdated thinking that you have or it could be that you haven't been out with someone in a long period of time and now you're getting back into that situation you're kind of wondering how it is to date somebody now you know um so and i feel like that outdated thinking is something that you're going to have to take a look at and kind of you know, let go of those old beliefs and make way for new things to come in your life. New beliefs, new ways of thinking, right? And we also have twin flame. So, like I said, I feel like this situation has been worth waiting for. This situation is 
a twin flame situation. This is someone who's maybe similar to you, but they want the same thing that you do. They want to connect. They want something that's long lasting, something that is very passionate and fiery, right? So and I feel like, you know, April could be the month where you actually meet that twin flame. That twin flame comes into your life to just ignite everything, right? So let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Let's get some messages for Aquarius, please. Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know in April? Okay, look at this, a new beginning, new thoughts, new new beliefs, new emotions, you know. Um, wow, okay, I didn't know that one was back there. And we have the Emperor, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Wow, we have the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like there's, there's something in the situation that you or someone else is holding back. Um, you may not be speaking your total truth. You know, but I feel like there's there, there's some energy that you're holding back or there's someone close to you is holding back that they're not saying exactly what they mean or um, they're kind of fighting some kind of emotion to move forward. Right. Um, so I feel like with this Ace of Swords energy, I feel like you're doing a lot of communication. You're communicating your truth, your beliefs, your total understandings of how you see certain things, right? Your, the, this is a new beginning as well because I feel like your thoughts, your beliefs are changing. They are becoming different, new. You're gaining a different perspective on situations and you're getting a more clear understanding, right? You're finding your power, your true power that is giving you more control over your situation. Um, I feel like with this Emperor card, what I'm getting is, you know, you're very selective. You're very selective on what you put your energy into. And if it doesn't feel right, if it's not just the way you see it or just the way you plan it, it's a no-go. You're like, no, I'm done. You know, um, but I feel like you're in control. The emperor is also the master manifester, right? So I feel like whatever you're manifesting at this moment, whatever your true intentions are bringing down to earth or making into your reality, I feel like you have that capability. You have that know-how because you're in this emperor energy. Okay. Um, also, I feel like this could be an Aries that is coming into your life. And they're coming in very strong and very powerful, very bold and daring. Okay. Um, so very interesting so far, Aquarius. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards too. Okay. I, I feel like you're standing guard. There's something that you're defending. Um, I feel like you're not backing down from a situation. You're being very persistent. Um, and I also feel like, you know, you're kind of at a crossroads. You have a couple choices that you need to make. And I feel like those choices may lead into something that is actually very life changing. You know, it, it could be that you are contemplating on changing jobs, changing positions, moving to new um, destinations, locations, right? Um, but I feel like whatever decision that you're making, you are in this journey of 
finding something different, right? Finding out the possibilities. You have choices, you have options that you need to make, right? So I feel like you're at like a crossroads. What to do next? What to do next? Okay, I do feel like there is someone who's heartbroken in the situation. There's someone who's not really sure of themselves. There may be a lot of doubt, a lot of grief going on. I'm not really getting that this is your energy, but I feel like there's someone that maybe you hurt, Aquarius. Maybe you hurt someone's feelings. Um, but I feel like someone's heartbroken. Someone's grieving. Someone is really... I'm getting someone really misses you. Hmm. Okay. But I feel like, you know, there's celebrations ahead. I feel like, you know... I'm not sure who this person is or what this person represents right now, but I feel like you're, you're celebrating yourself. You're celebrating your situation, your success. There's some kind of union and reunion happening here, okay? Uh, but I feel like this is 1111. This is angel numbers. This is, you know, protection, abundance, celebration. Um, so I feel like something special is happening for you in April. Something special is making you celebrate, making you, you know, feel very successful, very alive, very fulfilled, okay? And we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like, you know, your situations are becoming more positive. There's a turning point here. There's something that's coming through that's pushing through this change that is you know, you're able to reap more rewards. You're able to really um, take a look at your success and really see all that you've accomplished, right? And, and I feel like this is good fortune coming your way. This is a change in your luck, a change in your position. You're moving forward, right, on this wheel, okay? And I, I feel like this is, like with this being the last card coming out in the spread, I feel like this is, you know, good fortune in all aspects of your life, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at clarifying these cards. Let's clarify these cards for Aquarius. Give me more messages for Aquarius. What's going on in April 2023? What can Aquarius expect? What's going on, Spirit? Give me a message. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles. The Empress. Look at this. We have the Emperor and the Empress. Wow. Connection. That's, the, that's this love coming in here. That's this twin flame energy. So definitely, we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Moon card. And we have the Justice, right? At the bottom, we have the Fool. So I feel like you're embarking on this new journey. You're taking some kind of leap of faith. You're, you're gambling in a situation. And I feel like that gamble is going to be very good. It's going to be very good in your situation, right? And uh, I, I feel like this is... Like a breath of fresh air. Like something that you really needed. You needed this new beginning. You needed to feel this new energy. Okay? But I, I feel like you, you know, you're just starting this journey, but you're, you're not really knowing where it's going to lead you. But I feel like you're, you're trusting that you're going the right direction. You're trusting that you are on the right path, right? This may be due to this being on the crossroads here with this two of swords. This may be due to the choices that you had to make. You know, being persistent, being, um, doing your due diligence. I feel like you, you, you're bound for success, okay? 
So very interesting. Look at this. We have the magician underneath that. You're, you're manifesting something. You're bringing something to life. You have everything that you need to create the reality that you expect. So I feel like with this magi magician coming out, set your intentions precisely, right? Put your intentions out there into the universe and start manifesting what this is that you want. This sword is really sticking out to me. So I feel like, you know, put your thoughts out into the universe. Manifest. Be as precise as you possibly can because you're manifesting. You're manifesting something big here, right? And we have the Queen of Wands. So definitely there's someone who's around you who's very attractive, very persuasive is what I'm getting, right? They're not backing down. They're, they're being very persistent. They're like um, being very bold. But it's also bold in like a, a very sexy, very appealing way. Okay. Um, but I feel like, you know, this queen of wands, she doesn't care what everybody thinks. She just follows her heart. So I feel like that's what that's what you're doing. You, you don't care what anybody has to say about a situation. If you're doing it wrong, if you're doing it right. You just want to pursue something that you love. And look at this. We have the, the Wheel of Fortune again. So definitely a great outcome coming out for you. This is very good luck. This is something new coming through that is a turning point. You are actually embarking on something very fantastic here. Okay? This is good luck coming through, good vibes, good interactions, okay? So and I feel like there's a lot of change that's happening for you, Aquarius, and this is very exciting, okay? There's that two of swords coming through again. Right behind it is the sun. So whatever choice that you make, I feel like the choices are going to be the best for you right they're going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of abundance so i feel like you are definitely on the right path you're making the right choices to make you happy to bring success and abundance into your life okay so beautiful energy here aquarius i, I feel like you know there's something that you're working on there's something there's some new ideas that you may have that you're trying to gain a new perspective on but i feel like there's there's ideas here that are ready to be plucked ready to be tried okay and i feel like that's something that you'll be doing you'll be pursuing in april okay now like i said we do have the emperor and the empress so this is beautiful this this is counterparts this is love here so i feel like you know we have a situation to where this very well be the person that you have been waiting for the person that you have kind of manifested into your life and created out of this weight um so i'm if if you're open to love i feel like this is big this is huge this is beautiful this is twin flame energy okay and i feel like you know aquarius you, right where you're standing, I feel like you are feeling the most stable, the most confident, the most abundant. There's increase coming in for you. The month of April, there's going to be some kind of increase that's going to make you more stable, more uh, viable is the word that I'm getting. Okay, so I, I feel like there's a lot of confidence. There's a lot of um, things that will be happening out of these choices and being persistent right standing on what you believe in is going to bring you a lot of success okay now with the moon card i feel like you know like i said i felt like someone was heartbroken someone was hurt by a situation but i feel like something is truly exposed something was hidden but now it's being revealed so, um, I feel like 
you're you're still very successful in your situation you're still celebrating so i feel like whatever this thing is that's being revealed it's not meant for you it's meant for someone else okay so and i feel like someone else their truth something is revealed to them that may still leave them heartbroken but i feel like they finally have answers right so take it how it resonates it's it, it th this part right here is kind of confusing because i'm not feeling that this is your energy Aqu aquarius i'm feeling like this is someone close to you okay um but i i do see that with this justice card the four of wands and the will of fortune there's something good coming you're getting that good karma that good balance okay this could also be a libra coming in okay but i feel like there's beautiful things that are happening right now you have this protection around you this divine protection and and i feel like things are going just as you have dreamed of i'm not and i almost wanted to say just as you was expected but no just as you dreamed so and I, I feel like things are coming in that are giving you a better perspective this may be loan approvals this may be a new house coming your way you know this may be moving you into a better situation but this is good good karma for something that you've done in the past this is the good coming back to you right everything falling into balance into alignment okay so beautiful beautiful energy here aquarius i'm really enjoying this reading for you okay let's get some romance tarot let's see what ooh, the romance tarot has to say that's way too many let's get some romance tarot for aquarius romance tarot for aquarius please what else does aquarius need to know about their situation what does aquarius need to know please message for aquarius okay this one okay yeah we have the messenger of action so this is the Knight of Wands energy, right? Something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life. And who wants to try everything, right? So I feel like there's some kind of action that you're going to be taking. Oh my, we also have the messenger of emotion. So the Knight of Cups. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who is very gentle and loving and with only the kindest of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Okay, yeah, definitely new love. Okay, we also have the Eight of Emotions. This is the Eight of Cups energy. You feel a deep longing for something and meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life definitely that's that will of fortune energy you know seeking out something beautiful um 
and I was definitely getting that energy for you okay at the bottom we have the nine of abundance the nine of Pentacles energy so you there there's wealth there's abundance coming to you you're you're able to build on your stability you know be more self-sufficient right life is wonderful your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment Take time to enjoy the quiet moments of reflection and leisure and feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence that you now enjoy. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. So uh, Aquarius, let's take a look. Let's get a manifestation monology card for you. Let's see what else is coming in. See what else is coming in, please. Okay, we have reveal what needs to be seen. That's this moon card here. There's something that's going to be revealed that you may not have known about before, right? And we also have a full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Okay, so enjoy yourself. Take time to breathe in. Take time to um, be feel more alive do things that you love you know put energy into things that matter to you right okay so we have it's time to release negativity full moon and scorpio okay so anything that's negative around you it's time to release that energy it's time to let go of it so that the good things can start flowing okay we also have work through your fears so any insecurities that you may have work through those insecurities because right now you have protection you have divine guidance that's helping you through your situation with those two wheel of fortunes oh my you know that's change that's change and some sometimes change can be scary but work through your insecurities, work through your fears because something beautiful is coming around for you. The month of April is going to be very exciting. It's going to seem like you're on this roller coaster ride that's going to be very exciting, very exhilarating, you know? So let's get some more energy for Aquarius. We have the dragonfly. Yeah, there's transformation. There, there's a feeling of being rejuvenized you know the dragonfly this is pure magic this is something that is bringing about a lot of change also like a lot of mystery with you know not knowing what's ahead okay but I feel like this dragonfly, this is transformation. This is changes that are going to, you know, build your character, you know, work through those fears. And I feel like it's going to be very inviting, right? So let's get an angel number for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius, please? An angel number for Aquarius. Let's get an angel number for Aquarius. 1414 the possibilities wow okay so building strong foundations creates stability and welcomes in possibilities all possibilities exist and are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place Okay, so being truly grateful for the things that you already have and the things that you will be receiving, just enjoying the possibilities that are coming into your life at this moment, right? Okay, so Aquarius, your affirmation, I am grateful for all that is and all that will be. I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater, right? So beautiful. So, Aquarius, that is your reading. You know, I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, please like and subscribe, share. If it doesn't resonate with you, please feel free to take a look at your other placements. I have them in your April tarot reading playlist, okay? And until your next reading, Aquarius, 
many blessings to you. Love and light.